right, guys, we got a little bit of a late start this afternoon. But nonetheless, here we are. Uh, coming across this tall here. We got this Marcy weight bench. Oh boy, it's gonna be a heavy one too, guys. Let's see if we can't get this in the trailer. So it's got like a little bicycle here, but looks kind of shot. All right, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Let's see if this guy wants to help me load this thing up. I don't know, he might, he might not. I'm not gonna ask him to. fall off I think it was a lady all right Abe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for picking up this heavy stuff. She gets so mad at me. <laughs> but I can't pass this guy up. Yeah, why not? We'll take this guy too. Well, there we go. I'm not gonna, you know, it's kind of a good thing to find the stuff early because it makes it easier for me to say, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it because they're very bulky, very odd shape. But the thing is, is like not limited to what I can pick tonight. All right, good way to start the day. One, 
two. Four shelves. these up I'll spare you all the boarding I'm gonna load these up move stuff around in here get on to the next one <sighs> my goodness let's level racks day for little little racks I guess but I don't know what they did with them here at that house but all these man these are good these are good little perfect for like DVDs and stuff like that CDs A little bit bigger. What the heck? Too wobbly. Carpet. Carpet. some Pokemon stuff in it. 
So, Let's see if there's anything in there worth taking. Just unfortunately, both these cars are ruined. Um, and here's a wet. Definitely take that. It's got an Xbox 360 in there. So Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight's pick. We're going to go ahead and go home, drop off the trailer, and unload this tomorrow. So you guys see the rest of the video here in a minute. Alright, here we are. It's the next day, and we're going to do this unpacking. Some decent stuff. You know, uh, it looks like it's a lot more just because it's bigger stuff. But I'm really happy with what I got. I'm going to tell you why. Alright, so here it is from the back. Um, these were already mine couple bags I found that bin so I decided to keep it just because it was a good one all the stuff over here got two really big things here with the Olympic style uh, weight bench and that bike you have these four um, uh, bookcases and what's funny guys is that for the last couple weeks I've been thinking about doing some rearranging at my booth in Alvin Antique Center and i was wanting to put some more shelves there uh get some stuff that's off the ground like like a little bit bigger furniture and just you know put more stuff up because i have so much stuff that i need to take to the booth and um these four shelves came in at the right time i think it was god you know answering me or or, or answering my own you know uh questions of whether or not i should you know take some more some more bookshelves and take some more stuff to fill up with inventory just because like i said right now my booth is is not really extremely full uh, I've, been, I've been doing well i've been selling some stuff but i've got so much more stuff that i could take so i really think that that was god to just answer me saying hey yeah here's the bookshelves that you need to take go take it to the booth and uh and fill this stuff up so i think that's what i'm gonna do and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh, unpack this stuff not a lot really to go through as far as big stuff it's really just that right there let me show you what else oh yeah these uh I think these are for like CDs and uh, these are here for CDs and DVDs. And depending on what it looks like right now, I might use those cases instead of what I have now. Um, if I can make it look nicer, because I do have some some uh, some small little shelves, but they're but they're real slender and they're and, you know it, these might work better. So all the stuff might be going to the booth today. The only thing I should be putting in there would be the exercise equipment. 
and whatever from these bags. So let's get to it. All right, everything's off the truck and unloaded. So let's take a real quick walk through some of the bigger stuff again. I want to show you this desk, guys. This desk is beautiful. Let me show you this guy. This is such a pretty desk. It's got a glass top with this really beautiful painting or art of this owl sitting on a branch here. Uh, this here looks like it's all external on the glass. So I should be able to scrape all this off. And this guy's right here is probably so far my favorite find just because it's so pretty. Um, I wish I had a place to keep this because I would, I would definitely keep this one. But um, we really don't have any place to put it. But this is beautiful guys, beautiful, beautiful. All right, here are the shelves. Those four. And here are all the ones that are for like media and CDs and stuff like that. So we'll use what we can here. We're gonna take these to the booth for sure. Get stuff off the ground and build stuff up. I always like to build up, that's what I like to say. Uh, here are bags. One, two, three, four, five bags that we'll be going through today. We've got that glove. I don't know if it's worth anything. Well, well look, I guess it's worth something. <laughs> Alright, so that was a bad joke. But yeah, it's, it's a decent looking glove. Might keep it for around the house, so when the boy comes over, we can throw the ball around. Sterlite bin. These are always real easy to sell because they've got that woven pattern. They look real nice. And this storage bin here that I'm going to use to hopefully keep some good stuff in that I could sell. All right, folks, let's get this show on the road. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I picked this up for these guys. Uh, this is decoration only, probably some stuff that you can get like at, um, what's that store called? Anyways, there's a store that sells a bunch of decorations like this. I forget what it's called. Uh, they're closed Sundays, I can't think of the name. Y'all leave the name, because I can't think about it. <laughs> but it's, that hat there that's gonna go to the booth I'll, I'll sell these at the booth they'll sell pretty easily let's see got another one here this one looks like it lost whatever little thing it had on here but I think it can still sell so what I'm hoping for guys AC adapter is to find some cables for that Xbox 360 that was in one of these bags and I, I think it was I'm not sure if it was the same bag or not but these kind of cables like this for like TVs I always keep those with us just a good fishing leader there and another glove the glow gold glove company so we'll check that glove out and see what it's worth. Trap Ease model. 12 and 3 quarter inch. So we'll look at, the, we'll look at some of these gloves are worth a lot of money. I'll, I'll surprise watching some other people on YouTube how much uh, they sell used gloves for. Now, I've got a bunch of, I don't know, maybe I could give that away to a teacher or something. Someone doing summer class, summer school, a bunch of cards and stuff like that so we'll see about giving that away to someone who might be able to use it Here's another glove this is an adidas 12 inch tr 12,000 1200a nintendo uh oh um it's all trash Stuff. Oh man, <laughs> this is a game that you sling, try to sling pucks through here. I've seen an uh, advertisement for this on, on Facebook. That'd be cool if you could find this because it looked like a real neat game. All right, so this is for Nintendo. Maybe like a Nintendo DS, I think, or Game Boy of some sort. So we'll hold on to that one. Always keep these Nintendo cords because they're not easy to come by. More of this project paperwork stuff. Make sure there's no games in here. I'm not seeing any. It's trash. All 
All right, my friend. I got something coming to you. I didn't. I know you sent me a message earlier saying if I said something. I've only sent two things to you. You should have gotten both packages. If not, you need to email me because I'm obviously got the wrong address. But I got this one coming to you. Wow, that's a lot of this stuff. M&Ms. Dirt bike, electric scooter. Oh, these are for those uh, Razor scooters. Definitely keeping those. You find these scooters all the time with no. All right, here we go. Got some PlayStation games. This one is a CD. PlayStation 2. We'll see if there's any more games in here. Xbox 20, no doubt. see any other any other games unfortunately and uh man i've noticed a lot of people won't buy these cds outside the uh the case so i usually don't keep those yeah that's a CD. boom baby look at that nintendo 3ds this is what we like finding right here guys it's like a special edition, maybe. No games. I'll charge it up. See if it works. It's like some kind of charging station for something. All right, here are the little pucks for that game. Very cool. Probably gonna keep that game for me. Oh, that's a decent little flashlight. I might keep that in here. We've got light in here, but you never know. All right, calculator. Goal zero. <laughs> That's cool Jeff Bagwell card, but it's all bent up. We'll hold on to it. Massage chair. We'll hold on to that one just in case. Hogwarts alumni. I'll give this to Chris. His uh, his daughter and his wife are really into uh, this show. What's it called? Harry Potter. More projects of kids. I'll keep that one. Just so y'all know what that was. It's like a little. You put this in your lighter, put it in your car, and uh, it gives you two USB outlets for you to put a charger in. Um, I don't have a lot of luck. With razor blades, no, what are the not razor blades, um, roller blades. <laughs> razor blades. Why are you so silly? All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. Can that be fixed though? Maybe. We'll see. I'm not seeing anything else. Alright, not a bad start. Bubble speaker. Well, okay. We'll hold on that one. That, that might be a cute little speaker to give away to somebody or sell. Alright, bag number one's done. And I already tell you, this is the one that had that Xbox 360 in there. So that's always a cool find. Now, if we only have the cables, that'll be great. So we're gonna keep that over here. See if we can't find the cables. What is this other bag in here? What was this? Oh, this is like a breast pump. Yeah, this is a bag for a breast pump, but let's see, you've got the little motor. You know what? I saw a bunch of other stuff that looked like it might have been a breast pump, but I didn't pick none of that up. 
Maybe I should have. So uh, the bag is nice. Look, it might be insulated. It might be an insulated bag. It's a good looking bag. I mean, not nice looking, but you know, it's in good condition. Let's see. Sleeping bag. Batman sleeping bag. Huh. That's kind of cool. I might try to post that up on Facebook. Some clothes. Some belts. This is like kids' belts and kids' clothes. That's a cute little belt for a kid. That one could sell. It's got a little cowboy on it. No, I'm sorry, is that a cowboy? Yeah, a little cowboy on a bull. Some little stamp or something. Yu-Gi-Oh card, or well, not Yu-Gi-Oh, but Pokemon. <clears throat> Bottle bomb. I was hoping that one of these albums might be full of Pokemon cards, but not the case. for that bag good news guys it turns on it's got a glare on it because of the sun but it does turn on so that's excellent news all right bag number three and what the heck is this some material looks like this has got some material on it look at this bed sheets what this is? Oh, whatever it is, it's dirty. Man, what was in this bag? Oh yeah, this is the one that had. Okay, so we got some connects. Next, a bunch of uh, Legos in here. I don't know. These movies sometimes sell, sometimes they don't. And some leather magnets. Okay, this is the one that had all the cards in it. So, here's what we got here. A bunch of Pokemon cards. Oh Lord, I know these guys are gonna get mad at me for just dropping all those. Now, these are 2020, so they're newer cards. But, I don't know. Pokemon's really big buzz for Pokemon right now. Yeah, this is what caught my attention at first was that little pokey thing. All right, more connects stuff. Oh, this is what it is. Vex Robotics. So we'll hold on to that book so I can sell it with this stuff. So. Oh man, also have a bunch of uh, 
Legos in here. This is not going to be easy to sort out. Alright guys, that's pretty much the gist of it here. Taboo. Alright, I'm going to go through this bag, guy because as you can see, there's just a bunch of stuff in here to go through. A lot of Legos, a lot of Pokemon stuff. So I need to go through this carefully and uh, I'll show you guys what I find. It's quite a bit of Pokemon cards and the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You got this little guy right here. Um, I forget what the name of that show was called, but it's similar to the, to these to these other games. There's nothing in here, but I did find these three DS games: Battle Ninjago, Tom Decky Life, and the Mario Kart Seven. That's a good game right there. Also, a lot of these little figurines, the the Lego the Lego people. Those are worth some money too, guys. Um, a lot of people buy lots just to get these guys to complete their sets. So, as you can tell, I still have a lot of digging to go through. Um, I didn't go through everything. There's a lot of Legos in here. Most of this bag here, all this is Legos. So, that's going to be a good score right there. We're going to make some good money off that little bag alone. Even just these games will do well. We'll probably, because this is a 3DS, right? Yeah, so we'll lock that up with this... Uh, game system there we'll, we'll test it out and of course footloose let's go into the booth all right well i had took a little break well deserved and my little lady came by to give me uh some help hey everybody how are y'all so she uh, brought me some breakfast which is right on time and she's gonna help me go through this stuff so she's gonna go through the bag of legos and separate all the stuff and we'll go through it so that's gonna be a big help so i can get on through the video all right moving on the bag what is this number four bag number four looks of it this one might have been a leave behind it's in here yeah no money huh now oh, these are all imitations why did I pick up this box to begin with oh yeah I saw stuff like this there I was like, what the heck is this? Soldering tools. So this is for soldering. So that's why I picked up. I saw some stuff in here that looked interesting. So here's that one right there. Oh yeah, yeah, see? This is a Weller soldering tool stand. So I guess this would go in here. Yeah, that goes in there. All right, so that's that's kind of neat. Looks vintage. Wow. A bunch of phones, but they're all broken. Every single one of them. Let's grab a handful. Here's just the first handful that I came up on. So I don't know what this guy did. This looks like it might have been something I should have just left behind. I'm gonna go through some more to see what's all in there. And if I find anything else cool, I'll let y'all know. All right, so that bag really was a bunch of nothing. The only thing that I found was that Weller uh, soldering tool with a stand, which that might, but might have been worth it by itself. I also took a bunch of phones out. This guy obviously worked on phones. Here's a box. Phones, there's phone parts, pieces, glass cases, chargers. <clears throat> I mean, old phones, new phones. You got Samsung, Samsung Galaxy. You also have like, remember these little flip phones? I bet you some of you saw a flip phone like this. If you got an old flip phone like this, comment. I do. <laughs> I want to see who that still has an old flip phone like this because it's kind of it's kind of neat to still have that older technology and it still work. Look at this guy. Dang, Palm One. I remember this phone. This is one of the first phones that you can have. You had a keyboard on. You could type like that instead of having to hit the numbers. 
And uh, Iris is doing real good over here. She's separating all the Legos from me. She's got all the Lego people here and all the parts right here. How's it going over there, baby? It's going good. Bringing back memories when our kids were small and we had these all over the house. Man, we had them all over the place, man. And Everywhere. you were stepping on them. You gotta be a soldier to walk around all living room. Yeah. <clears throat> so she's gonna look through the Legos. She's gonna continue to uh, separate the stuff out for me. Um, hopefully we find some more good Yu-Gi-Oh cards, maybe some more Nintendo games. All right, here we go, last bag. And I think the main reason I, I even picked up this bag because I saw this cane in here. And I thought, you know, if this, if this stuff belongs to an old person, who would have passed away and they're throwing all their stuff away you just never know what else could be in here so this is broken likely yeah so that's broken i'm not gonna be able to sell that all right that's okay though let's see what else we got scott david some shoes. Let's see. That's this leather jacket. Is it real leather? Made in China. Odin. Odin. I never heard of this company called Odin. To the donate pile. Let's see what else we got. Little slippers, or boots, or whatever. Well, I'm not seeing anything really got some big shoes, some KD shoes here. Got a boot. It's like there's only one shoe of each kind. Or what's going on in here? This is a Halloween dress. Looks like yeah, it's a Halloween costume. Oh, there we go. Day of the Dead, darling. Got some new underwears. Kate Spade, look at that. Some Kate Spade sunglasses. Those are nice. I like those, what do y'all think? Y'all like them? I don't really see anything else in here. guys well all right guys well that was a lot of digging around unfortunately we didn't get as much stuff as we wanted to um, but the stuff that we did find was actually good stuff so I'm gonna show you real quick one more last run through from those little bags all these Legos and stuff that we found uh, I think we did pretty good check it out all right so here's these two tubs full of the Legos right there uh, I guess different sets because uh, I mean there's just all sorts of stuff in there you got that Xbox 360. Unfortunately, I didn't find I didn't find the uh, power cable, so I'm gonna have to hold on to that until I find some cables to go with it. See if I can test it out. You did have all of the Pokemon card stuff, along with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, that guy. You got the Nintendo DS. We ended up finding four total games: Mario Kart 7. The Battle Ninjago, uh, Tomo, whatever, and then this Zelda. And then here are all the Lego people that we found. Guys, if you got if you have these laying around, don't throw them away. People pay money for these Lego people. Two two to five bucks I see them go for. 
especially if you have them you know with like all the weapons and stuff like that they can go for good money because a lot of times the kids lose all these little weapons and that's what's valuable all right so we've had a couple giveaways already and the response has actually been pretty good i've been pretty great uh, a lot of people have been enjoying commenting and uh getting themselves entered in for the drawing so i want to do another drawing and uh it's gonna be for those kate spade sunglasses they look to be in really good condition let me show y'all I, I really like the frames on this you know i think they call these like a tortoise shell kind of transparent really nice color on them do you see they've got the name there kate spade really clean lenses the only thing is that on this pair right here there's a tiny 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 nick and i don't even know if you can see it you really can't even see it on the camera it's right about there but <clears throat> very nice shades so if you want to enter in for the kate spade contest just comment kate spade and i'll put it right here it's k-a-t-e s-p-a-d-e two separate words guys and um one thing that i'll that i'll suggest if you guys are gonna leave a comment uh you know something about the video that you like um i would almost put kate spade separate or or maybe don't don't put it in parentheses don't put quotations around it because when i'm searching for kate spade i don't know if the the randomized you know keyword finder is going to take for account for like you know parentheses or quotations or even if you have a period at the end of it so make your comment you know whatever you'd like to leave and then uh, I would almost make a separate comment that just says Kate Spade all by itself. Two separate words, Kate Spade all by itself. Because um, I'd like for y'all to, uh, you know, have a better chance of winning for those who are, are commenting. Also, um, I'm not going to limit the amount of times you comment Kate Spade. It just ups your chances for the uh, selector to uh, choose your, your comment. Um, I'm not sure if it makes a difference if you comment Kate Spade five times in one comment or if you type Kate Spade five times in five different comments. So if you want to get entered in more than once, uh, that's up to y'all. Um, I really can't control it to see you know how many times people comment. Uh, but I do think that if you do multiple comments, not Kate Spade multiple times in one comment, but multiple comments, I think it'll enter you in more times because it'll, it'll recognize that separate comment each individual time. So... Stop from blabbing around. Kate Spade, sunglasses, enter in. Just type in the two words. And uh, yep, and that's all you got to do. And you'll send these to you for free. I'll pay for the shipping again. And uh, we'll get those sent out to you. All right, lastly, I do want to thank my wife. Ari, she already took off. Um, she has to go do some stuff at the house. Uh, we're going to take some of these shelves, put them in the trailer, and run them to the booth. I might put some booth material right here. And if I do, you'll see it. And if not, then you'll just get to the end of the video. All right, it's been a busy day here at the Tech Speaker Channel. I'm gonna do a quick walk through what we got. I wanna thank my wife, my beautiful wife, Iris. She's such tremendous help. There's no way I could do none of this, any of this without her help. So baby, thank you so much. And she's out there drinking water. She says, you're welcome. But I'm gonna do a quick walk through, show you guys what we got. Um, it's gonna be real fast because the store closes literally in one minute. So. <clears throat> a lot of this is the same, hasn't changed. Maybe some organization going on. These are the shelves I found last night. Move some stuff around over here. See what we got going on over here. These VHS and these A-Tracks have been selling like hotcakes, guys. Quick sells. Here's my little section of different uh, Action figures uh, and stuff. There they go, they're closed. Stuff's been selling pretty good here. I'm pretty happy. All this is new inventory here. 
I've had it for a long time, but man, I really like the way these fall colors really pop right here. It looks real nice. Starting to put in some crystal stuff. If I can see. Everything's filling up over here, guys. We got a lot of stuff. We got more coming too. These are the shelves that I found last night also. I'm going through real quick, guys. But as you heard on the intercom, they're closed. And this last little section. So we'll come fill this up with more stuff here in the next couple days. And I'll do another walkthrough for the next video. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. With that, guys, I just want to thank you so much uh, for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, back to normal a little bit. Um, did find a bunch of good stuff. Find a bunch of real neat stuff that can sell easily. Small stuff is good to sell. Uh, I actually brought a couple bins out here with me to fill up, hoping I'd find more stuff, but I only filled up one. Uh, the rest of the stuff I took pictures of and I uh, kind of put up there already, and I'm going to get listed here uh, later on this afternoon. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! and Pokemon cards. I might just list them all and see if someone wants to pick them all up. I'm not sure what they're worth, and I'm not really going to take the time to go through each individual one and see if they're worth anything. I will list the DS with the games, uh, likely on Facebook. Maybe on Mercari, so you guys can try to take a look at them. I'll list the Legos and all the little people on Facebook. And uh, that's going to do it. So, hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't hit subscribe yet. It lets YouTube know that uh, you're enjoying my videos and that you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So you guys can be the first ones to comment and the first ones to get on the, on the, uh, on the new giveaways. Because I'm going to try to do this more often. Um, with that, Father, we just want to thank you for just an amazing night of picking lord we just want to thank you for blessing us with so many great things and for uh, allowing us to save stuff from being put in the landfill forever father uh, i just want to thank you lord for just uh for our health lord for uh being able to wake up this morning being able to uh do what we got to do father whether whether you're going to work uh whether you're retired whether you're just enjoying your day off um the number one thing is that we woke up and, uh, and that, that alone is, is a blessing. So we thank you, Father, for that. Uh, I want to thank you, Lord, for just the many blessings that you just give in our lives uh, day in and day out that we just take for granted. Uh, everything from a good parking spot to, you know, having electricity, Father. These days are hot. I couldn't imagine not having electricity. Uh, for our vehicles, Father, that we have, for our healthy bodies, um, I just thank you, Father, for that. I just want to ask, Father, that you would... Uh, Reach to the channels, YouTube, Father, and just touch those people, Lord, that are sick, those who um, feel depression, who are lonely, Father, that uh, you would just just mend them, Father, to 100%, that you would heal their bodies and heal their minds, Father, uh, and let them know that through you anything's possible. Um, you're the same God of yesterday, Father, that created miracles, still does miracles today, and uh, we thank you for that. Uh, we thank you for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. And I uh, ask, Father, that for those who don't know you, Father, know your son, that they would want to get to know you and build a relationship with you, Father. And for those who are um, Christians now, Father, that their faith would be grown and stretched out further than they ever imagined, Father, and that they would just, just lean on you for everything, uh, that they lay their burdens at your feet and know that you're in control. Even though we might not know what's the, in, the outcome or why we're going through what we're going through, um, we do believe that it's your plan and that at the end of the day, Father, we just know that you'll get us through it because we know that you wouldn't put us through anything that we just couldn't get through without, um, you know, without you in, their, in our lives. So we just thank you for that. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like. Uh, leave me a comment. Kate Spade. Until next time. Peace.